At this point in time, can you believe that Lee Harvey Oswald killed President John F. Kennedy by himself? Don't make your decision until you see executive action, possibly the most controversial motion picture of our time. Start the target. A film that nobody would make until now. Fire! Never before in American history has one family held such an enormous concentration of political power. The plan is perfectly plain. Two terms for JFK, two for Bobby, and two for Ted. Which makes action now imperative. What kind of action? Executive. Burt Lancaster. I'll take it from here, Bob. Robert Ryan and Will Gear take executive action in a drama where startling fiction challenges established facts. The probabilities for success are almost 100%. They're like a bay of pigs. Now look, you're a high risk man, you're on contract. Your men are all experienced in black operations. You take your chances and you get paid for it, and damn well. A story built on long investigation and careful deduction, fitting together the missing pieces in the most important and tragic murder of our century. So we've determined that our action can best be carried out during a motorcade. For even though the Warren Report has officially closed the case, the baffling questions still remain. A small army of anti-Castro Cubans are already they're all available. They can do anything from picking a lock and bugging an embassy to taking care of an ambassador. All yours. Did Cuban undercover operatives have a Dallas connection? What's the name? Lee Harvey Oswald. Whether two Lee Harvey Oswalds. I'll fight American imperialism. You must fight for Castro. You came to our office of Cuban students in exile. Why don't you go to Cuba and stay there? Are you trying to tell me people in the CIA and FBI are going to help with this project? In the last two years, the Secret Service has established 149 threats against Kennedy's life from Texas alone. Yet they send them into hostile territory with no more protection than you and I would arrange for a favorite dog. Could one man alone assassinate John Kennedy? Now, one man firing from long range at a moving target is out of the question. The only possible scenario, three rifles with triangulated fire. Fire. A motion picture that must be seen by anyone who still has doubt. <laughs>